Hey guys, I thought we'd put together a quick clip just to help you understand your mycelium a little bit more. We get quite a few questions about the different characteristics of it, you know, what we're looking at, what aren't we looking at. So uh, we'll try and address that a little bit now. So if you come on in here, and I'll just point out some of the key things. This bucket is something that has fruited maybe three or four times now. So it's quite old, that's the first thing to know, but it does give us a beautiful example of lots of different characteristics. So what's the big red flag? Well, for sure the big red flag is your green mold, trichoderma mold. Uh, this is a pretty bad sign and often will occur towards the end um, of your life cycle where the mycelium is starting to run out of nutrients and it begins to lose the battle uh, with the mold. Something else that we see in here, which is, you know, not a good thing, not a bad thing, is slight discoloration, brown colours, little bits of liquid, almost a little bit jelly-like in some places. And that's just metabolites. So you get that when the mushroom has digested the uh, nutrients, in this case it's chopped straw, and that is just what, what it excretes. This is the stuff that's really good for other insects. And you might notice that we've got a couple of little fruit flies in there at the minute. Again, if you have black fruit flies, it's not the end of the world. They like a good quality feed, same as us, and that's why they're in there, making the most of these metabolites. If these were white flies, then you might well struggle a little bit because they actively feed on the mycelium. So as a general rule of thumb, black, black flies, no problem. White flies, big problem. Onto the actual mycelium itself, you'll see that most of it is fairly smooth and white, but in places you have these kind of, it almost looks a little bit like coral really, little coral-like growths. They're called primordia, and those are effectively baby mushrooms. So what mycelium is, is billions and billions of hyphae, which are like strands. They spread throughout the material, dissolving as they go, eating the food. And then when it senses that it's ready, i.e. the environmental conditions are suitable and it has enough nutrients stored up, they'll begin to, um, to sort of blend together, knot together and form these primordia. You know, from this stage, if we leave the lid off, within about a week, we'll have mushrooms that we can all eat growing off of there. So, of course, that is a fantastic sign. Anyway, this is just one example. You know, the, the fungi world is <laughs> marvellous and full of variety and no two buckets that you look at will be the same. But through experience and just trying your hand at it, you'll get an eye for it and you'll be able to spot the problems and the positives as they come.